Okay, now here is a very important feature on Android 12 we all should know. Let's open settings. Here we have an all new menu for safety and emergency mode. In this video, we are going to specifically take a look at emergency mode, but there are a bunch of other important safety features which I will quickly take you through and then we are going to see the emergency mode feature. Keep watching and if you find this information useful, consider subscribing and smash that like button as well. Let's get at least 500 likes for this video. Okay, now on top, we have got medical information. Let's tap on this. It says emergency responders and others can access this information even when your phone is locked. You can feed the data here so that the emergency contacts can receive this information. We have got medical conditions, allergies, current medications, blood type and other if there is anything that you want to mention here. Let's go back. We have got emergency contacts. We will be able to add the contact numbers here. These are the messages to whom the message or an email will be sent during the emergency. Then we have got this wireless emergency alerts. As you can see, this looks like a menu from the Pixel phone. For some reason, Samsung has not aligned it with the One UI 4.0's user interface. This is basically the alerts pushed by the telecom service provider onto the phone. The alerts could be related to anything. It could be a bad weather information, earthquakes or anything. If you have this toggle turned on, you will receive emergency alerts as and when the service provider pushes it. This feature may work only in some countries, depending on the availability of the service. We've got multiple switches here. You can turn them on depending on your preferences. We've got extreme threats, severe threats, amber threats, test alerts, if you turn on this test alerts, you will be receiving operators tests and monthly tests from the safety alert system. Then we've got area update broadcasts. We also get to see emergency alert history here. You can turn on vibration, alert reminder, speak alert message also can be turned on. This is what we have under wireless emergency alerts. Then we have got emergency location service, which says if ELS, which is emergency location service is supported in your region, when you call or text an emergency number, your device can automatically send its location to emergency response partners. This will work only if you have ELS supported in your region and only after you setting the emergency contact numbers. This is an important feature which will only work if this is supported in your country. Then we have got panic mode here. We can call emergency number, whichever specific number you have in your country and send SOS messages by pressing the power key three times. Here it says press the power key quickly three times to call emergency number 112, which is the emergency number in my country. It would be a different number for your region. It says when you are in an emergency situation. You can also send SOS messages and attach pictures to them. This is where you can turn on this feature it says let people know you need help in an emergency by pressing the side key. We have two options. We can set three times or four times and we can also enable attach pictures option. When you turn this on, it says press the side key a set number of times to automatically turn on Wi-Fi and location. Continue sharing your location with your emergency contacts for 24 hours. They will get a new notification every 30 minutes if your location changes. Send a message to let your emergency contacts know you need help and your approximate location. Go ahead and enable this and set your emergency contact number as well. Whenever you are in trouble, just press the power key three times or four times depending on what numbers you have set, which will automatically send a message to the emergency contact number. These are the safety and emergency features we have here. Now it's time to look at the emergency mode. Before we go ahead, I just want to make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead, smash that subscribe button and smash that like button as well. Now let's tap on emergency mode. Here we have got a layout which shows how this emergency mode would look like. We have got a switch to turn it on or off. At the bottom it says the home screen will be changed to a black theme to reduce battery consumption. You will be able to use messages contacts and emergency calls, but some other applications and functions will be restricted. I'm sure you would have got the point here. We must consider turning on this mode whenever we need to conserve the battery during an emergency. Now, while we turn this feature on, there is a big list of terms and conditions which will show up. I suggest you to go through them carefully to know this feature better. I will just read out the first one for you, which is important to know. It says emergency mode is intended to help your battery last longer and send notice of your approximate location to the mobile phone of a chosen contact that you have set in advance. By operating emergency mode, your device may have limited functionality. The limited functionality under the emergency mode includes 
without limitation the simplified home screen, low LCD brightness and frame rate, limited CPU speed and the use of ESView cover and other applications. Now you know what exactly it does. Now let's go ahead and turn this on. As you can see it says turning on emergency mode. It is going to take less than a minute to turn on this emergency mode. Here we go, we have got emergency mode turned on now. It shows the remaining battery life on top in hours and minutes. We have got torch button here and we have got emergency alarm here. When you tap on this, it is going to ring like this. Now coming to the accessible apps, we have got phone, share my location, internet. If you want to add few more applications, you can do that as well. We can tap on this three dot buttons. We've got a bunch of options here. Turn off emergency mode, edit applications, emergency contacts and settings. We can just tap on edit applications to add few more apps. As you can see, we've got few apps like calculator, clock, Facebook, maps, Outlook, Samsung notes, Twitter and WhatsApp. Add the ones you want and just tap on done. We've got the access to the emergency contacts that we have already set on the phone. Let's tap on settings. These are the options we get, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flight mode, mobile networks, location, sound, brightness, accessibility. These can be accessed by tapping on settings menu here. Now let's turn off emergency mode. It's very simple. Tap on the three dot button, tap on turn off emergency mode. That's it. Now we will be back to the full fledged operating system. So this is how this mode is going to conserve the battery in an emergency situation by limiting most of the functions while giving you access to what is needed. This is a very important feature which every Android phone user should know. There is a bunch of videos I made on many other One UI 4.0 features which you can watch on the channel. I have left some links in the description for all those videos. Go ahead and check them out. That's all I have here in this video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like and let me know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.